Thank you for cooking, baby. Looks delicious. That was delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> Amazon packages. Don't look at my address. I don't even know what it is actually. Can you give me those scissors right there? I think it's a book. A gift for him. Oh yeah, the fig leaf fertilizer. Cause our little things is sad right now, y'all. <laughs> and this is your gift, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted to get him this for Christmas, but when I initially ordered everything, this one wasn't gonna be here in time, so I decided not to. And I put it in save for later. And then one day when I was on Amazon, I was like, oh yeah, that's still in there. So I added it back to my cart and I ordered it. <laughs> that's the backstory. But I feel like it's useful. Oh, I also got this book. Cause I heard it was really good. Oh. My brother and my sister both specifically called me and said that is a must read. People said this is a life changer and it really kicks in at the end. So we're going to read it and see what it's giving you. You can read it too. Yeah. Oh, and here's your gift. Close your eyes. It's this, you guys. Wait. This thing. Okay, open it from the bottom so you don't see what it is. Me, you said that. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I will come back when he set it up, y'all. Put it together. I think she did that. It's all set up. So then that's where you're gonna feed your charger port through and it's gonna go along the grooves right here to the back bay. And then it'll be like charged. And then like you can put like ear pods, a pin, some keys. In the picture they had glasses and another watch. And then on the side they had two wallets that stand up right here. And the charger comes up right here. But yeah, for your desk. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. You guys, I also got the power of now, which I keep hearing about of how like amazing it is. We're both gonna read this as well. So I'm gonna keep both of these on the tables and then I just magically got them without even knowing that. That's tight. Yeah. So anyways, we're gonna read and fiddle leaf, I mean, <laughs> fertilize our fiddle leaf. Yay! Because look how sad. We left it by the freaking fireplace and it got torched and all of these leaves on this side were also torched. And then on top of them being torched and brown like this way more, I dropped the fan and the fan perfectly sliced them off. So I guess, <laughs> It was just the universe's way of saying, get rid of them. And then this one, the little tank tank, got more damage as well because of the fireplace. And then, yeah, I don't know what it's trying to do. So we're gonna finally water them with this. I'll link everything I got from Amazon down below. So guys, make sure you go get these books because I will be talking about them in my vlogs and I don't want you to be left out, okay? Go get them. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all read this. Tell me how it was. I heard it was amazing, which is why I got it. Go get it. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah. Guys, this is the other stuff that I meant to tell y'all and show y'all that what I got in my stocking from Christmas. It's a bunch of like CBD products from Cookies. And these came out of nowhere. Oh, I also got these, which if you know me, you see my past vlogs. Look! Well, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but they are seeds to grow weed. <laughs> Cause y'all know I'll be growing or whatever. Bread and butter, 10 seed pack. I'm excited. I just gotta go get my grow tent back from my old place. You guys, I did the TikTok thing. And I really wanna take it out. I really should take it out after I get ready, but I'm just too anxious. So I wanna see, I literally just woke up. So let's do this side. <laughs> waste of time and I just ruined my perfectly flat ironed hair. <laughs> This is giving one curls. Wow. Okay, now I know what to do for next time. Winter. Good morning vlog we are about to start a new day start a new vlog and get on with our day i just wanted to pop in about to go run some errands so get ready <laughs> i look like a stick <laughs> so we are on our way to run our errands what errands have you ran lately i would love to know right now i have to go to Trader Joe's as well as the Pet Food Express and maybe Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but we might go to Dollar Tree. It's just not a necessity, but it's something I need to get eventually. And Pet Food Express is literally by Dollar Tree. So like, why would you not just go right then and there? So that's what I'm deciding. Also, everything is on the same damn street, kind of. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to both channels because I'm working on my setup to come back to my main channel um, for beauty videos, makeup, and hair. So let your girl know when you subscribe to both. What's crazy is one of the girls emailed me, not emailed me, she sent me a DM. One of the girls from Jai Bar sent me a DM and she was like, basically saying she ended up quitting too and th th what's crazy is this was the new person 
that actually had like common sense and is just a great person. She's very accommodating. She's very nice and very sweet, you know? And um, she sent me a message and she was like, um, I'll have to put it on the screen. I'm gonna put her message on the screen and block her name out. Ain't that crazy though? Like, I knew I was not tripping and that's all I have to say. I knew I wasn't tripping and I'm glad <laughs> I didn't stick it out because what's crazy is it's been so rainy and stuff that it's been hella flooded over there. So the little hours that they did give me, all the salon was closed. So I would have literally traveled there for no reason for 42 miles just to find out that the salon was closed. And or they would have made me cancel everybody's freaking appointments to be the bearer of bad news. And or it's just all a big waste of time. And or I would have been doing all that traveling just to get there to have to walk through like knee high, calf high water just to walk in the door for work. Like. So I'm glad I followed my intuition. I'm glad I followed my gut and decided not to finish my two weeks. Even though that's just not like me, I just am so glad that I have discernment and love for myself. <laughs> because imagine if I was like being a good person and decided to finish my two weeks, like that's just crazy. I don't know. Anyways, I feel very happy about that. Which, not happy that she quit and I'm, and I'm not happy about any of the circumstances when it comes to that specific dry bar salon but i am happy to at least have confirmation and validation in the fact that i was a hard worker and the fact that i left at a good time because it got worse and it's just crazy how the nicest sweetest most accommodating people can come into a new space and immediately see what's wrong make suggestions to make things right and then not even be heard like well, why wasn't she heard like why wasn't i heard that's just so crazy you know i just think that people want to do what they want to do while also imposing stressful strict rules over people for literally no reason <laughs> that's the crazy part but yeah i wasn't crazy and i'm glad i didn't fucking continue so yay what's crazy is i was thinking about her last night and then i woke up to a message from her and then the, this morning when i was like still low-key dreaming waking up I was like having flashbacks to me working the booker app and software that they use to book appointments because I really liked that software and I really liked being on that app or whatever and um, I was like low-key missing being on the like on the software part of it doing the software duties part of the job and I was waking up and then happened to get a message from her that's just crazy I thought about her last night and then was thinking about Booker this morning and now <laughs> ah, she told me she quit my intuition is crazy I told them they was gonna keep I told y'all that they was gonna keep losing amazing ass employees until eventually they lose them jobs themselves but it's just like sad like why does it even have to get to that you know like <laughs> damn just do the right thing or if you're not gonna do the right thing stop tripping over everybody else you know like <laughs> it'd be the people that impose the strictest rules and make the hardest stipulations that come out of nowhere for no reason when whole motherfucking time they be doing the same shit if and or worse but really, it's just all unnecessary drama for literally no reason when they literally could have just be accommodating, be a good human being, see what's actually happening, what's the actual reality of the situation. But not a lot of people know how to look at the reality of the situation. And that's what's sad because it's easier to look at the reality of the situation. Well, I guess it's not when you have like self-entitled ego fucking everything else but I, I don't know looking at the reality of the situation
situation is taking your feelings out of everything and looking at it as facts. Okay, this happened because that happened. And she said that because I said that. Yep, that's a fact. You know, like who wouldn't say that because you said that? Who wouldn't do that because you did that? You know, like if you just look at the reality of the situation, you will realize a lot of things just is what it is move the fuck on or deal with it like <laughs> you could only have so many conversations before things don't change and when things don't change that's your chance to dip boo well my turn to dip um but anyway i love you i was just updating you and telling you what was going on because that's crazy we almost at Trader Joe's though. I hope I even been recording this whole damn time because I'm using the back facing camera and it's in my black grip thing. So I don't even know if me putting it in the grip thing made it <laughs> stop recording. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, love you. See you at Trader Joe's. Shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running sh right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain. Uh, turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change. I've been rocking this exchange. Uh, popping off and risking things, gonna make a. Wait a minute, hold on. I just want to be famous But I don't want that cheap fame No, I'm not that vain I just want to be greatness Hi, good, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no mother in this world could do it like me Please, two of these Oh, they're different, okay Yeah The prices here are just unbeatable so This is so crazy <laughs> So you would glad, never be able to do this at Safeway. <laughs> they often come in our customers and contrast the prices. Yeah. Now, I'm going to guess, because I got a double bag, I'm going to guess four bags if that's all okay. right. Okay. So the heavy stuff. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. And we're back with the groceries, yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. While I was setting up the camera to take the basket back, the store clerk was taking it back. And I'm like, oh wait, no, I need that for my for my vlog. I was trying to get a clip of me putting the basket back. <laughs> ah, that's a hella funny, right? Anyways, <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm sorry if I messed it up. I'm like, no, you're fine. I'm just vlogging. <laughs> the things we do to get them angles is funny. Anyways, um, now, we're gonna go to Pet Food Express to get some cat litter and then possibly maybe the Dollar Tree. We should go to the Dollar Tree. I just getting in and out, getting in and out, getting in and out, getting in and out, you know? Anyways, bye. We've parked at Pet Food Express and Dollar Tree. I don't know if you could see that, but um, now we're gonna go in and get what we need to get, okay? Tell me where I just had to cuss out, well, I didn't curse her out, but I yelled at a lady at the top of my lungs. She was trying to speed out of the Trader Joe's parking lot. Mind you, I'm coming this way, coming out onto the street, and she's coming through a curve to come where our lane is to come out into the street. 
she's speeding while i'm like this and her turn is like this she now has no more room on top of speeding around that dip then looks at me like i'm crazy and it's my right away because we continue straight you what you have to wait until she's speeding to get in front of me but i don't even like it's my right away so i'm not even tripping about that plus she still has to stop anyway she didn't then looks at me like i'm crazy and then as i'm stopped because i'm like whoa like is she gonna keep going then she like wiggles her fucking way out in front of me so i'm like what it's not your right away it's not your right away and then she looks at me through the mirror and stops and breaks like this so i have to break like this because she just fuck i have no room and she's continuing not to go so i have to put my car in reverse literally going like this to her because what are you doing like go hello like hello so i put my car in reverse to get around her and then she decides to go so i rolled out my window and she's going like this mind you she's a 50 something year old karen looking lady <laughs> coming out of trader joe's speeding in a minivan what is happening you bitter old bitch like what the fuck it was not even your right away and then you're looking at me like i'm the one in the room <laughs> and then prevents me from going Ooh, I can't stand people like that. I, and I yelled at her at the top of my lungs. If you gonna, you gonna mess with the wrong one one day and somebody gonna beat your ass. Like, hell. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Got my heart rate all up for no fucking reason. Fucking, I can't stand Karen ass people. Like, you're not even in the right and you're so loud. Ugh disgusting fucking human beings i'm going off every chance i get i don't really take a loss well i'll admit that's why i'll make it to the top yeah i commit and no i'm never getting lost i get after it investing in my own stock because it's faster than any crypto hits go let me spend everything that you see is something i invent and it's only a percent i'm gonna take shot i got it i got it <laughs> I just put it in the car and I'm gonna walk across the parking lot to go to the Dollar Tree and see if they got what I need to go on. And you could call me academic, I'm always working, never been apathetic. That energy is like a poison, needs a man aseptic. <laughs> Oh, uh, what about this? Oh, yes, bitch. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Where are the rest of them? I want more. This shit right here actually exfoliates. I don't see more, though. All right, I'm going to be happy with this thing. Hello. Hi. Found them. I love these. The clear ones so that you could actually see outside your shower. I made it home, and we are stopped for now. And I'm drinking some kombucha. I'm going to go edit this vlog for you guys and get it up. Um, I'm gonna upload as often as possible. I'm thinking every other day. What do you think about that? Is that not as often as possible? Should I be on some DDT shit and try to upload two to three times a day? Let me know. <laughs>